going on guys? Welcome back to Chop Toys. Uh, another 58 Tonka here I want to show you today. This one's a light custom slash original. It is a farm truck again. <laughs> Lots of farm trucks as I've mentioned before. It's one of the most common finds. Um, a all white farm truck. I haven't seen a whole lot of actually. Um, yeah, so this one I have no clue where I got it. I've had it for oh eight ten years maybe and uh, I'm guessing it didn't have tires and wheels on it because I've put new ones on it aftermarket tires which I'll show you a little closer of later um, I think the stakes were original to the truck it only had two so that's all we're rocking for right now but uh, the horse trailer was a find at an antique store I, I can't remember when or anything now the finish on it, it's got some crayon marks and some tapes and tape and paint, like house paint on it. But it's complete and it's it's the earlier style and I'll show you how you can tell. So looking at the horse trailer, it's it's a little rough, but it's almost got matching patina for this truck. The stickers are all there. Tires and axle are very good condition. It has the rear gate and it has most of the chain. Um, it is missing the, the links that hook, but the place where they hook is still intact and in good shape. Um, the hinge is there. Everything is there. It's just, it was crazy. And I think I got this for like 12 bucks or something, just to steal. Um, the earlier ones have the smooth fender. I think 60 or 61 or 62. Well, somewhere in there, they started running... A thinner gauge metal so they stamped in a, a fender lip so the, the fenders are a little thinner and they have a lip on it and another way that you know this is an early one and by early I mean it's 58 or 59 I'm guessing the black wall tires I don't know if the horse trailers ever came with white walls but 59 was the first year for white walls and everything had white walls it seemed like um, but it has the single pin style hitch as opposed to the stamped uh, clover shaped hitch that's on the later trucks it was actually on the chassis so this was designed to work with uh, the, the little wire trailer hitch like this farm truck actually has and you remember I did a video not too long ago of my uh, green rusty farm truck and it's complete had everything all the stakes but it was missing the hitch I mean I even had mud flaps on it but it was missing the hitch so uh, this one as bad a shape as it's in the trailer hitch is intact. Let me flip it over. So for me, that was why this was such a, a buy at the time, wherever I bought it. I know that's why I bought it. Because it, a, it was pretty straight. It's got, the paint looks rough, but the whole thing is pretty pretty straight. And it had the hitch. I, uh, again, I don't think this had wheels on it when I, or t axles or anything when I bought it. So uh, this actually looks like a new axle that I made. These are aftermarket Tonka tires. The inside ones are originals. But the outside ones are aftermarket, and they don't say Tonka Toys on them. They're just perfectly smooth, and they're still very soft. Um, but again, look, well, we're gonna, got it upside down here. We'll look at the front. Truck is very straight again. No, no bends or anything in the bumper. Looks really good from this angle. So, uh, yeah, new tires. These hubcaps are originals, and uh, these later style were terrible. These and the smooth ones were terrible about rust. So if you look closely at this, you can see some pitting marks, but they have been sandblasted and polished back to a decent quality. I think it looks as good as they probably came from the factory originally. Um, again, missing bed stakes. I don't remember if these are original to the truck, but they are original Tonka metal stake bed stakes. Red ones kind of just looks looks cool like that with on the white truck, I think. Uh, the stickers on this one are so-so. The farm sticker is really, really yucky looking, but it's there for the most part. Looking around the front, I did replace the windshield. I know that's a, I think it may be a, I don't know. It's got some, some scratches on it. It may have been a good original one that I reused. But I think it, because it, it's not fitting down quite far enough. It may be an aftermarket one. They never quit fit 
quite the same like the original did. But uh, yeah, we got all our grill and headlights, bumper, original bumper, original rivets. Um, I mentioned in a previous video, you can see the vents here are enclosed by the paint. That's a sign. This is original paint, obviously, because it looks like like snot, but <laughs> but it's all there. Um, the headlights actually, those may be new headlights. They got a little bit different shape. They're a little flatter than the originals. They, they were more concave. But original grill, we got some dents and dings and stuff. But the body is is straight. It's just nicked up and and surface rust. But there's there's no major damage to it whatsoever. It's kind of the same story on the other side. It's evenly evenly patinaed all the way around. Now one thing I did, I forgot to mention when it was on its upside down, I moved the axle back. These chassis that they use for uh, tractors, pull trailer, big trailers and stuff, farm trucks, dump trucks, they're all the same chassis and they have two different sets of holes. And I moved this to the furthest back hole. I think it makes it look a little, a little sportier, I don't know. Um, Typically, also, the farm truck would only have a single rear tire. It wouldn't be a dually. And that always was weird to me because the, the rear is narrower on the frame than the front. So your, And your bed is wider than your cab. So they put narrower axle and skinny tires on it. And they always looked a little off. So anytime I've ever done a restoration on a farm truck, I always run duals in the back. Uh, not always back here on this spot, but I always do it just because it looks... It looks better. It fits flush. Same gap as the front. And uh, yeah. And again, nice little truck with an actual trailer hitch still intact. And I've rarely seen any of these trucks with the trailer hitches like this still there. Because it just hangs down and it's so fragile. If I can get it to hook up. <laughs> but pulls pretty well. Everything rolls nice. Those tires squeak a little bit. And uh, yeah, just another nice shelf warmer. Not really rest restored, not really super custom, but just an all around solid truck that I thought was worth saving. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I'm always out looking for more Tonka trucks and any other cool old toys. In the future here, I am actually hoping to get Chop Toys its own little workspace because right now we're using the RC Everyday YouTube scale shop <laughs> and uh, yeah these are everything's the wrong scale for these trucks so doesn't quite look right to me and uh, I'd like to make a little special place for this channel because it is getting a little bit more popular and uh, you know kind of do its own thing but uh, anyways I appreciate you guys watching be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and comment below what you think of these old toys. And uh, any ideas that you have for chopping them up, stuff you want to see, any questions about them, feel free to ask. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.